Folks, we are back, and yes, I'm in a remote location. <laughs> Things are a little different than we're you, used to here. Wait, are you okay? Send they... a signal, wait. Send a signal. You got to send a sign, bro. If blink three I'm times, good, if, man. blink three times. If you, I'm you good. I'm, saved. I'm I'm good. I'm good. But this is foreign territory, not just where I'm at. But Sensei's also kind of running the technological side oh, of the breakdown bro. right now, which is hilarious to see if you guys can see our discord screen it's, it's inception on a on a computer screen but we are back sensei we are back. and we got some news to cover man. i'm, exci we got, dude, we got I'm excited lot. for this one we got to see we got to see a lot of things dude. I'm, I'm looking forward <laughs> there's to a it. lot of stuff um we're gonna start it off with jake paul tommy fury yes apparently there is an announcement in coming at some point um we're supposed to get this fight revealed, but Sensei, I got some inside info. Oh, let's hear it. Stuff because that I have, I have to tell no, you. Okay? No excitement for this because I just don't believe it. I don't think it's gonna happen. Until okay, it so that, that, let's let's talk about that. You, know? you don't think for the third time we're we're on a charm here. You think until they're in the ring, until Tommy is standing there with his quaffed hair and Jake Dude, is standing you know what, there you know with his is? lack of hair. You know hair. what this is? It's a freaking slam dunk contest, and the dude did a nasty attempt, and he's on his freaking eighth attempt, and you're like, all right. <laughs> Well, if he makes it, I guess it'll be but nice. He can't make it. And exactly. Right. Oh, here we go again. Okay, like it's cool, yeah. and you know it would be sick, but right. it's kind of like lost. It's so until they're there, I'm kind of like you know. Okay. Sitting and waiting. What do you think is the biggest? What's the biggest difference in this fight now that it's happening than it would have been, let's say, when it first was scheduled last, not 2022, but 2021 December. What do you think the biggest difference is now? Well, I think I've seen more of Tommy's true colors as uh, a mm -hmm. fighter, his competitiveness, his willingness uh, to show up and do things right, and like his point of view on his own personal legacy. I'm getting a little like Chavez Jr. vibe from Tommy being mm. being the younger brother. You know, weight issues. Uh, him, like, if you see him partying, you know what I mean? Just the whole vibe. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting a very much like, like I said, Chavez Jr. Whereas, like, Jake is hungry. He wants to prove a point. This is legacy for him. He has the bigger picture. Whereas, like, Tommy could be looking for a way out at times. I, I feel like maybe, you know. Um, and that's how I see the fight going. Like, the way, that's the biggest difference now. I thought Tommy, I didn't know all this. And with this new information, mm -hmm. I'm like, Dude, unless Tommy cracks him and just is able to land a better punch, when it comes to being in the fight, Jake's just got to – I just see Jake going after him. And if Tommy isn't able to land and Jake gets momentum, I think uh, Tommy's going to look for a way out. I, I, don't, I don't know, dude. I, I get that whole, like, I'm here not for myself because I'm a fury, whereas, like, Jake's here just for himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, 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 dude, it's really hard to not, to add on to that, right? Like, I can play devil's advocate right. and say, you know, Tommy did have issues in the first one with, a, I guess he broke his rib, or I, I don't even remember what the, the, the issue was that ended up actually being the cause of him pulling out of the oh, first fight. Yep, yep. The second one, you can say, you know what, Tommy maybe didn't know he was not able to travel to the United States. Can't really put that on him either, even though you should know those things by the time it's time to travel. You should know, hey, my brother's dealing with something. I probably should get checked and make sure I'm okay. Anyway, playing devil's advocate, because you make great points. Is Tommy committed? That's one of the big things I look at and go, God, man, is he really, does he yeah. really want this? Is he... Does he want to be a boxer or does he want to be known as a fury like brother, like dad? Bro, but this is more, this is more show than it is competition. Look at the fact yeah. that when he fought his last fight, it was the fill in. Yeah. They did a glorified yeah. spar, right? That's mm -hmm. a dude who's playing the game in boxing. He's been around the game. His family's in the game. This is a way for him to make money. It's prize fighting. It's entertainment. He put on a show. Yeah. Jake ain't here to put on a show. He he's lit. we now know he wants to fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and it's it's crazy because it's a fury. But again, Chavez Jr. Like, okay, you can play this game, um, and make money and build a name off the spotlight of being of being a fury. I can be a boxer. I can get a bag here and there, and entertain. But he's clearly shown that this is about the show, more so for him. Yeah. You know, it's not about 
being a world champion. And we heard from Jake that he's serious about it. You know, he may, we, we, we think he's yeah, crazy yeah. and he is, but that's also what makes him good. That's what gives him an edge. But we think, believe you know? that when he says that, yeah. that he means, it. yeah, we believe that. Yeah. Like we don't have to believe that he's right, but we believe when Jake says he wants to be a world champion in his mind, he legitimately thinks he's going to be. When Tommy says it, it feels like John Fury is operating him with hands behind his back like a puppeteer. You know yeah, what he's I mean? playing like the part. Say, he's playing the part. Right. He's playing acting Tommy Fury, acting Fury brother. This is what Furies say. This is how Furies talk. This is what they achieve. Yeah, they, yeah, 100%. Now, is he wrong or right? We, we genuinely don't know. That's another thing that's like, I was going to play devil's advocate by saying, we just don't know a lot about Tommy. We, we really don't. You know, we... We can try to pull different performances versus guys that he should have maybe beaten worse. But at the end of the day, he did beat the guys he was supposed to beat. Whether it was the best looking or not, he won those fights. So it's kind of like, was he coasting? Was he not as serious? Because if that's the best version of Tommy, he's in trouble. He is in trouble. Yeah. Listen, I got to say, say this. But if Tommy Fury is closer to Dylan Dennis than he is to being Tyson Fury. Yeah, I can agree with that. Like and like, yeah. When when it comes to like personality, like the the drive, you know what I mean? He's more show like than he is fighter, yeah. you know. And that that's and, the and, vibe. And, that and I if get. that is the case, if he doesn't like, if there's one that you take seriously, it's this one. And it sounds silly because it's Jake Paul, but this is everything. And it, and, it, and I I really hope that he looks at it that way because Jake is. Jake's looking at this fight like. If I don't meet Tommy Fury, my career is over. Like, I am not going to get to the places I need to get to because they've been trying to make this fight over and over for a reason since then. Yeah. It's not because they just like Tommy that much. It's what Tommy represents. A chance to beat an undefeated, young, legacy, lineage boxer and prove that guy can't touch me. So watch what I do next. Watch now that you said I couldn't beat a boxer. Right. I did that. Yeah. Now what's next? Does Tommy have that motivating factor? Because Jake is, in his mind, trying to prove the world wrong. In Tommy's mind, he's just trying to prove the world right. Is that as motivating? Right? No, like, dude. The fact that you're in you, this position and being compared to Jake Paul when you're supposed to be a pro boxer is already a negative. Says something. It's already a negative. Yeah. So now he's in his position. If he yeah. loses, he never boxes again. You, you, you know? I mean, John Fury said it. He said if he doesn't not, I mean, again, John is probably trying to spell the fight a little bit. Yeah. He was like, if he doesn't knock the Paul brother out, but you know, he better stay his ass in Saudi Arabia. He's no longer going to box. That's Tyson said He's that, not, right? He said if he if he doesn't win, yeah, Tyson was like, he can stay there. He might as well just stay over there. Yeah, and that's the difference that you're yeah. here. like when Tyson says it, you believe him. You believe that he might disown his own brother because he's that committed to boxing. We've seen what Tyson Fury can do. When his mind is focused on boxing. And I empathize with I empathize with Tommy. If Tommy the problem is he's already gone it's too far. a lot of pressure. He's already gone too far. You've already in you're already in the game. But he doesn't maybe, you know, he's this is he's not really about it and this is kinda his way to, to get out of the game. Because right. he's stuck because he's a fury. He started boxing and all of a sudden Jake Paul was created and now he's in this mix and now he's got the pressure of the Fury brothers and the boxing world on his shoulders. When he, we don't even know if he wants to be a fighter, so, and we don't even know if 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 yeah one if he wants to be a fighter and two, if he has that natural ability that Tyson did have, we, we, you know we we just look at him and think well he's been training with Tyson so he has yeah, to rub it's off. It's like it's like we Chavez just genuinely Jr. don't know if it's, it's it's a version of Chavez Jr. where the expectation. Yeah. I mean it's a great comparison. So and not to that Chavez had a terrible career. I mean the guy won 50 no plus and, fights, yeah won it's just the, the the style of it. The, the, it's the but same where vibe. he was supposed to be correct what he was supposed to be was not what he was yeah. and i don't know if people even look at tommy like what you were supposed to be i think he just looks at it like that and the rest of us kind of go yeah you're not that whatever guy. you were supposed so, to be you weren't supposed to lose to jake paul that's all we know and that's exactly, where we are exactly <laughs> Exactly. That's the thing. It's like you were not supposed to be in this position. And I don't think Tommy realizes it yet that the rest of us are going, this was not what, if you were supposed to be a world champ, you're not here. Like we're not talking about Vidal Riley fighting Jake next. You know, we're not talking, we just, it just doesn't, there's no reason no. to. We know what happens in that fight. We know what Vidal, Vidal does what he wants with him. You know, it's just, why would we talk about it? So we leave Vidal to be a world champ and a domestic champ because that's what he's going to be. Yeah. So that's the difference. Um, 
do you want to do very very early predictions? What do you what do you say? So a ten round fight. Ten rounds. Uh, very early. We can change our early. minds at some yeah, point. Right now, I'm saying uh, Jake Paul round six TKO. No way, round six. I love it. I'm gonna say Jake wins, and this is by the way the fact that we're not only saying that Jake is competitive. <clears throat> That this is a 50-50 fight. 